I'm doing pretty good. Thank you so much for joining us for another Atlanta Brick Co. Store Tour Live. We are back. We're live. We missed last Friday, so I feel like I haven't done this in forever. We're back here at Atlanta Brick Co. It is a very busy Tuesday afternoon here in our store. We got a lot of people over in the middle of the store area. We're all been very busy. You're doing good today, Dawson. That's good. Good to see you. I saw several of our friends chatting earlier. There's Tegan, there's uh, Diana, there's next to Zach. There's Kinga and Jacob, good to see you, Jerry Houston. Grumpy Jay, I saw Lima Bricks earlier too. Well, good to see you all. And we're back. So I wasn't here last Friday, so I wasn't able to do the live stream and we uh, had a lot of people on vacation and we were very busy last Friday too. So we did not have anyone to do the stream. So that's why we weren't here last week, but, but we're back, it's all good. Hey Mark, it's Goat Bro's brother. Good to see you, Colton. Thank you for joining us. I like that membership badge, it's pretty cool. Let's see here. And next is like, hello there, General Kenobi. There's Miss Bricks, good to see ya. Brick Arms, Brick Mania, and Battle Brick, there you go. There's Diana, hello everyone. Ooh, is that a Pharaoh's Quest set? Oh, wait, wait, is there? Oh no, this is an adventurer set. Nexus, this is a... Uh, the Sphinx Surprise for $200. One of my favorite sets, and it's one of Steven's first sets that he ever got, so it's pretty cool. Has a bit of a history there. Starting with the top shelf, looks like it, BJ. We're hanging out here. There's not too many changes since last week, but I mean, we didn't. We missed one live stream last week, so maybe people didn't see it, but there's Scott Robinson, D. Holden. Good to see everybody. Let's see, all right, and I saw the first request, I think, was Ninjago, so we'll probably head over there. Let's see, where is it? So what does the store have for us this new year, 2023? We're probably gonna do more collection tours because I don't know if you noticed, but the one we did with Richard um, not too long ago with his castle collection really blew up and got a lot of views. We're happy about that. Sorry, it's for the people with taste Nexus. <laughs> exactly, well, I agree with Daniel, uh, Double King Bricks, because I Adventurers is first and Adventurers is the coolest one. Uh, Ferris Quest is cool too. It's a, like a sequel. It's good, but maybe not quite as good as the original. But I think I, th I saw Lima Bricks talking about uh, next, uh, not next tonight's Ninjago. So we'll head over there. And Colton's also asking about Minecraft. So we'll head over there too. Any new trains? Um, we haven't gotten any new trains that I know of, but we will get some eventually. So quite a few Ninjago sets here. We've sold quite a few too, so we are a little bit less than usual. There's Mike, good to see you Mike. Tegan's here. Got my crane for Christmas in the end at Atlanta Brick Co. TV set 7905. There you go, Miss Bricks, that's awesome. What Star Wars helmets do you have? We should have most of them D. Holden. Several people have traded those in like recently, so. Yeah. Wait a minute, this is not the line for Atlanta Brick Co. There ain't no Mega Vlogs. Oh no! Lego Cafe. Oh, hi, Mark. Good to see ya. Let's see. Well, at least we know where you stand, Daniel. <laughs> there you go. On Christmas Day, I finally built the certified in a box yellow castle I bought from Atlanta Brick Co. in 2020. Such an awesome hit of nostalgia. Wow, that's awesome, BJ. That's really cool. Yep. All right, let's go check out these Ninjago figures here. There's quite a few of the ninjas there. You guys want to say hi to the camera? Hey, guys. Hello. Oh, excuse me, everybody. Yep. Good to see you. Bunch of shoppers. They were asking a lot of cool questions about Lego Masters earlier. Some very friendly customers. So. Modulars, please. Yes, we have uh, like two or three modulars in stock right now, Mike. So we'll go check those out in a second. I think we're going to look at uh, Battle Brick and Brick Mania for Dawson next. Then we'll head over there. So, Do you still have the ship in a bottle? I'll have to check with Joe. We might be out of that right now, though. So, Mark, can you show my minifigure in the Lego City? I know which one it is, Dawson. We can find it. Oh, oh, oh. Hey, look, it's one of our employees. Hello. Work, working very diligently. Yeah, it's good. We just got the set in, actually. Oh, nice. Very cool. I like it. All right. Um, Joe, do we have the ship in a bottle still? Oh, 
Yes? Maybe? All right, let's go look at Battle Brick here. So, Battle Brick, we've got the attack helicopters, Bradleys, M18 Hellcats, A10 Warthogs, lots of tanks. Are the helmets built? What's the price Price for the TIE Pilot, Dark Trooper, and Storm Trooper? Oh, 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 right in with the delivery. Yes, we still have the LEGO Ideas Ship in a Bottle, which is a really cool set. It's $100 for a certified one. So, thanks, Brayden. Helpful guy, that Brayden. All right, Battle Break figures in stock, of course. And you can find all these on our website, atlbrick.com, so definitely check that out. We've got a number of uh, Brickmania sets up there as well. We've got the Blade Runner police spinner. you got a couple tanks. We've got an F-22 Raptor. And the Star Trek bridge is still there, I think, too. Those are all hundreds of dollars, but they're really high-quality sets. And... Oh, you gotta let the register know. Oh. All right, and then we have a few brick arms over here with some of our smaller items by this wall here. There's some of our sets up here. Some figures, some loose pieces like wheels and things. Then you have brick arms right over here. So we still have a few brick arms pieces. We need to order more since we're getting a little bit low. But yeah, I love these droid arms. They're pretty useful. And as usually, greetings from Romania. Absolutely a night in. Good to see you. I love Modulars 2. Still after the Fire Brigade. Hi from the UK. Oh, thanks for joining. Appreciate it. All right, so we've got a few Modulars up here. Ooh, I wonder if you guys can even hear me. It's pretty noisy. Let's see, uh, two, 350 for that one. I like that creator as well. We got the Lego Island soundtrack blaring. Oh, excuse me. Sorry. You've got the uh, assembly square right there for two eighty nine. You've also got a palace cinema for three twenty, which seems like a great deal. You can hear me, Mark. That's good. Is the Atlanta shop still with Bricklink? Yes, we have an Atlanta Brickco Bricklink store. Um, you can find some uh, bulk basic pieces on there. Not a lot of figures or sets because we put those on our website now, atlbrick.com, in the description. Do you have any new sealed Star Wars sets? We surely do, Mighty Walrus. There's Morgan. Good to see you, Morgan. Thanks for joining us. We are eight minutes in the stream. We have um, about 52 minutes left. Here is our Star Wars section. You can see all these sets and figures are going to be Star Wars themed. Ooh, ooh, look at that. Look at that. Those look pretty cool. And uh, Daniel, Double King Bricks, is uh, celebrating the, the Lego Island music choice. The moderator has arrived, exactly. I'm, about, I'm after about 500 black windows. We might have them, Tegan. Well, I think we've used a lot of our windows in city projects over the past few years, but you can check. I think there's a link to our Bricklink store on our website, so if you go there and look around, you should be able to find it. Oh, you want a picture real quick? Yeah. <laughs> Absolutely. Let it look at me. There we go. <laughs> Thanks, guys. You're welcome. I need to get a picture of the fan really quick. There you go. All right. Yeah, some very cool uh, sealed and built Star Wars sets here for sure. And we still have that sale going with the buy one, build, get one 50% off for the built sets. That's really nice. Looks like we got a bunch of AT-ATs right now, which is good. I love that set. Hello, Morgan. I hope you had a good Christmas. Yes, I hope everyone had a wonderful Christmas. We just uh, got past the Christmas weekend last Sunday, a few days ago. Hope you all got plenty of Lego and re rest, relaxation, and cookies and all sorts of good things. So. Christmas treats. I need to go get more ding-dongs. I'm all out of ding-dongs in the office, and it's a, it's, a, it's a bad day when that happens. So. Mark, did you see my comment? I did not, Dawson. You might have to repeat it for me. Uh, how much for the Gungan Patrol? I'm not sure, Mighty Well. So we'll check on that. That's one of my favorites. It's probably not that cheap, since it looks like it might be sealed. Wow, okay, so for a sealed Gungan Patrol, that's $100. 
It's a pretty collectible. I think it's worth it, but it's I understand that's a little bit high for some people. It's pretty pretty crazy. All right. Mark, please stay warm. I will try, Dawson. I was really cold last weekend, but I'm doing better now. Mark, did you see my ABC iceberg? I don't know, Liam Brex. I might have. I have to double check on that. Mark, what ding-dongs are you referring to? Oh, so ding-dongs are a little treat, little pastry. Well, not pastry. Little, like, almost like a little cake that uh, comes in a box. So they're a brand. It's like Little Debbie's, so. How much is the Thai pilot helmet? Oh, right, D. Holden. Let's go check on those for you here. Uh, Thai pilot helmet. Let's see. There's Darth Vader. He is $69.99. There's Boba Fett. He is $59.99. Thai pilot. We have one right there. Oh, oh, behind me. Just put it out yesterday. Whoa! Okay, uh, TIE Fighter Pilot Helmet is 160 But it looks really good. <laughs> Thank God it's cake. I thought you were referring to something else. Nope, that is what it is, uh, Brick Virus. No worries. I don't think I have any boxes left, but I'll show you next time I'm on the stream. I kind of like those orange Gungan mounts. I think they could only came in that set. I believe so, BJ. I think that's a good guess. They're a lot cheaper separately, though. They're $10 for one of those guys. So if you want one, we've got them. They're on atlbreak.com under animals. Mark, did you get my last comment? I might not have. Someone said Minecraft earlier. Yes, we can go look at that now. Any Santa Claus figs? Yes, there's a CMF Santa Claus figure that... Uh, came out. I think he's still probably $10, $15. I'd have to double check on that, though. Let's look at Minecraft. There was a couple requests for Minecraft. Let's look at that. We've got the Jungle Temple. Very cool looking. There's the Ocelot up there. You got the Training Grounds. Has some great colors in there. The First Adventure looking pretty cool, too. Very nice. If you need Murloc, I got your back. There you go. Mark, I hope you got the free time you wanted to work on the Rock Raiders, Mark. Not really, Brickfires. I was very busy all of uh, leading up to Christmas and Christmas Day, too, so I did not get time to build like I wanted. But I'm thinking I will this evening and more this week since uh, we're getting back to normal here, so hopefully that'll work out. So. Got the ice spikes. I think uh, my friend Caleb, Cheesy Studios on YouTube, just did a cool video on a, a mock for this, so look that up after the stream a desert outpost so yeah lots and lots of great minecraft sets We've got the minecraft figures over here actually let's look at, look at the minecraft built sets first we just put this uh redstone golem out and he's super cool 25 dollars got the giant steve back there he's 30 dollars how'd that get in there that minion he doesn't he's not cool all right skeleton 20 dollars I like this uh, undersea temple for 132. The ABC website shows the Santa Claus minifig at $13. You can get Santa C3PO for only 12. There you go. Yeah, $13 is not too bad. Most people can afford at least one figure for 13. So there's the Minecraft figures. Looking pretty good. Oh, and we just put out a mystery machine. That's pretty nice. But no one needs a mystery machine. We got him. Also, have a couple of the Scooby Doo characters. You tell him, Mark. There you go. Yeah, so Daniel is not a fan of minions. I think that's pretty well documented on our channel, so we won't, we won't like, uh, focus in on minions or anything. Yeah, we don't want to talk about minions too long. Oh man, he's missing a button. That's too bad. But yeah, they got uh, these weird little hands, these prints on their faces and eyes. He's missing his hair. It's interesting. All right. Anyway, we won't we won't uh, dwell on minions that long because they're the worst. All right. I think Dawson was asking about his figure earlier, so let's give a quick tour of the Lego City. <laughs> I got Daniel to barf on this dream. There we go. All righty. So you got the Dawson and Brad Pete having a chat right there. 
You got Grumpy Jay's figure that I made for him right there. You got Gary's figure over here. Brick Mom VA, Daniel. Next is the Zach harassing Daniel. Monkey. You got BJ over there in the town hall. You got T Valkyrie over here. You got Brick Lore over there. You got Dennis from uh, Infamy over there. Got a couple of the Watu figures up here. Always harassing my friend of me, exactly. And one of the greatest mysteries is where my minifigure went, because I was over there chatting with those minifigures earlier, and I'm gone now. I think that's Chris McBricker right there, and you got Morgan over there at the end of the street. That's what we got built so far. We will do more, and uh, if we, you haven't gotten your picture in, maybe just resend it really quick so that I'm able to get it, because I am going to be working on that this week. So, Yikes, Velma from Scooby-Doo is up to 170. So oh, she's very cool minifig with all four pieces exclusive to her. Exactly. She's very rare, very cool. Here's our base plates if anyone needs any of those. Do you have Goat Bros fig? I think so, Colton. I have to double check on that. I was working on it in my office so I can go look at it here. It was either Goat Bro or somebody else's figure that I was working on recently. Let's see here. I think this is the one that GoPro sent me, or maybe it was somebody else's, but I'm working on that one. And very next to 90, as you can see, which is kind of annoying, but you get the idea. How is the model team stock looking? Any giant truck, black cat, haha. <laughs> model team. So, oh, well, actually, uh, carboxylated, I think I butchered your name, but there's one up here that's built. That one is 800 for that one. So very expensive, but very, very cool. Look at that, those chrome pieces. Also has the instructions. Hey Mark, what do you think this sparkle Lego theme will be? I don't know. I hope it has transparent pieces. That's all that matters to me. Marcel probably kidnapped Mark and locked him in the cellar with Mia. <laughs> well, I don't know. Getting locked in the cellar with Mia sounds pretty fun, but maybe not uh, being locked up. So. We need more likes. There we go. Thanks, AZ Dave. Good to see you. Let's see. Da, 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 da. What were the sets next to the TIE Pilot helmet? Looked like colored ATSTs. Yes, so somebody brought in a bunch of colored ATST set remakes that they traded in. And they're pretty cool, but we still have a bunch of them because not everybody wants different colored ones. So. Any Star Wars Rebels sets? Um, I don't think we have a lot of those right now, Alvar, but we can go check later. Oh my, you have one built. Yes, even built. It's very expensive. It's an ultra rare set. I want one loose. 100% at very least to build one day. Such an awesome set. Tell Daniel I'll be making my Fantasy Era Castle minifigure purchase soon. There we go. I'll tell him uh, Nexus. Or um, Daniel might be watching. You never know. Added a like and shared this. Awesome live updates are always appreciated. Absolutely. Thank you for sharing. Oops. Hold on. Finally, so many ads. Oh, sorry, Grumpy J. Appreciate you getting on. Getting locked in a cellar in front of a TV with next to nights on replay. That is torture. I would I would gnaw through the ropes and escape. Does Atlanta Brico ship to New Zealand? We sure do, Tegan, but it is pretty expensive. I know we still have trouble shipping to Australia because of some sort of rules or laws happening. So we're still having difficulty with Australia, but I think New Zealand is fine. Uh, double check and, you know, send us a text or an email if you're interested in buying something, though, because... We want to make sure you're able to get it. So. If you're watching, smash that like button now. LOL. Thanks, Colton. Nexus, I got a sealed fantasy era set for Christmas. So, <laughs> so deal with that. <laughs> oh, my goodness. There you go. Did you hear about the new Sonic theme coming out? That sounds fun, Alvar. I would, I'd get behind that. They definitely... Um, Definitely could do that and be very successful, I think. Who made the fantasy football finals? Oh, that's a good question, Andrew. So, 
I, it wasn't me. I ended up having the lowest score of all the people, unfortunately. I think it was six and nine was my final total. So not too bad, but I was the lowest. I was 10 of 10. Um, I think it was um, uh, one of our employees, John, and uh, our Big Kid Builds, our friends in Illinois who print our Big Kid Bricks, who ends up uh, printing our stuff for us. So those are the custom figure maker who is also in our fantasy league. So they are competing for the trophy. Pretty exciting stuff. Brick Ferris is very excited about the uh, Sonic theme. Picked up a couple Xenomorphs and a Red Pig coin bank. There you go, AZ Dave. Any power function battery boxes? I think we do to have those, Tegan. We'll go look at those. I'm smashing likes with all I got, Captain. There you go, Grumpy J. Thank you. What a team player. Yes, they're all over there. Scoop by everybody here. <laughs> Thank you. I'm just gonna buy guys. Motor and extension panel for the motor. Oh, that turned around. Yeah. We're also looking at the battery boxes here, so. He said he needs a nine volt motor. Nine volt motor. Those are gonna be. If you hand that to him, I'll show. I think it's that one right there. All right. So here's the Power Functions battery boxes we've got. We've got the uh, Technic style ones, and we've got the uh, Train style one here. This one's a little more expensive. It's forty. That one's still in the packaging too, so that's pretty cool. There's the nine volt cord. You'll need. Okay. I don't think that was a fake Falcon in today's video. Oh, well, actually it was, and we had all that fake Lego mixed in with the other brick, which had to get sorted out. So Will is very upset with us, but that's okay. Store is busy today. That's good. Yes, it is. It's very busy today. Joe said there were none. I called and asked this morning. Oh no, AC Dave. So you were looking for the, the power function battery boxes? They're over there. They might not be online. Powered up train stuff. Oh, we don't have a lot of that, Lemur Bricks. We do have a few powered up pieces, but uh, they're mostly like the standalone motors. Let's see, Colton's asking about city police. We might be able to do that. Seems like a lot of kids have Christmas money in their pockets and ready to spend Atlanta Brickco. That is possible, BJ. I have a feeling that's the case. How much was the blue built Mustang uh, in the case? Oh, we'll go check on that for you, Mike. Let's see. I think it was over here. One right over here. So 140 for this one, with instructions. No extra parts though. I have a quick question. Oh, what's up? Do you do you actually know if the if the golden brick is actually made of pure gold? It is not. It's just a regular Lego brick that's painted gold. So. In a in a fake gold, I'm guessing. I think so. It's just chrome gold paint. So. Mhm. Mm I need that Mustang though soon. Exactly. Oh yeah. Battery box for the Christmas train. Well, we did have one there for 40, so that, if you want to, you can call about that or uh, see if you can text him about it too. So. Shameless plug, but later this afternoon, I'll be live on my end building the retired creator expert London bus. That sounds pretty cool. Do you have the old 9 volt battery box piece? Yes, we do. We had a couple of those in there too. Scoop by, guys. Excuse me. Oops. All right, what was the thing we were asking about? I think we we're looking at city stuff. City police? Let's go look at city police really quick. Let's see here. Let's see. Oh, what's up? Oh, yes. Rock Raiders are going to be over here. So you're going to find some Rock Raiders in here. Not really. Not seeing them. There's a Rock Raiders rock monster. All right, thank you. And then over here, got one Rock Raiders Chrome Crusher set right up there. Nice, thank you. So, yep. I was like, he's the guy. I'm the guy. The Rock Same. Raiders are one of my favorite themes. So. <laughs> Same. They're awesome. You ever played the Rock Raiders game? Uh, no. Look up Manic Miners. It's a new remake of the game. It's really fun. So. I've, I've seen it. I've, like, seen it a lot. Cool. Yeah, definitely worth trying out. So. All right, thank you. 
All right, where were we, guys? I was helping a customer find Rock Raiders. Any of those blue-white glow-in-the-dark squid from Agents? Ooh, that's a great question, Keller. I don't know. I'll have to go look up that. RR Slugger definitely re revived a lot of hype for Rock Raiders. Oh, yes. If you haven't seen RR Slugger's videos, they're really good. The Nexa jokes are a living meme within the AFL community. I say, yes, we, uh... <laughs> I have a particular dislike of Nexa Knights, and uh, the chat just loves that, so, you know, it's, it's great. So, it's, it's wonderful. All right. Mark and Steven probably bought all the Rock Raiders. I bought some of them, but they've actually sold quite a bit, too, so it wasn't just me, but they're pretty cool. And they're still relatively affordable, unlike this police station, which is $300, so that's pretty crazy. I think it's because it's an older set, so. You also have the Mountain Police... Uh, station here, a forest police station, another police station, the prison island, which seems very cruel, another police station, and that's the one, same ones we have down here. So, lots of police sets up there, the bigger ones. Got some of the smaller ones here, like the swamp police stuff. You know what? That beard reminds me of Boone. How much is the swamp police station? That one is 130, so much more affordable. Just finished the orchids, that's pretty awesome. Mark and his crystal addiction. I mean, no joke, Grumpy Jay. I found some today, and I was like, Gollum with the ring. I was like, ooh. Town plan set 10184. I don't think we have that one right now, unfortunately. But we do have quite a few custom modulars. They're not exactly the same, but they're cool. I don't know Daniel's Lego kryptonite, so I can always use that against him one day. <laughs> Oh no, is it like Jack Stone or something? I need to figure this out. Everyone knows Nick's Knights are my weakness, so. Let's see, I have been behind on comments, so. Uh, let's look for the glow-in-the-dark blue-white squids. See if we can find those. I'm guessing we don't have them right now. Excuse me, everybody. So here's all the animals down here. Oh, there it is. $110 for glow-in-the-dark squid. That's insane. Regular octopuses are $5.99. That one is $100. That's pretty crazy. It's minions. Oh, of course I knew that. I knew Dale doesn't like minions. So not a big surprise there. Yep, that's the one. It only came in one set. It's super valuable. I wish I had one. Kind of like I wish I had Lego goats. Let's go look at Castle Figs. That's a good request. How much are Advent Calendars? They're usually about $20 per Jedi. Friends, another good request. We'll go check out Friends in a second, too. Keller says, thank you. No worries, Keller. Glad we had one we could show off, so. Next night's 100% the best. See, that's very debatable, Grumpy J, but I'm going to let you have this one this time. Oh, Ninjago 2015 sets? Yep, we can check for that, Carrot. Healthy medieval fig stock, that's for sure. Daniel's been working very hard on all these super rare figures. There's some ninja on the front row, too. I like these jelly bean knights. We're going to have to do a video on these soon. Yeah. You got the Vikings, the Trolls, and Orcs. You got the Dwarves, the Skeletons, the Fantasy Era Knights up there, too. There's still a few more to do, so Daniel will keep working on them, but he's basically got most of them done. Very cool. All right, let's go look at Friends, and there was another request somewhere. But, uh, Mark, could you please answer my previous question? We'll look and see if I can find it here. Hold on one second. Need your expertise. Could you recommend me a good retail set? Star Wars Ninjago, preferably under $80 for my 14-year-old cousin. Let's see here, Brick Virus, that's a good request. $80 Star Wars or Ninjago. You know anything? Yes, I do. Michael's got a plan. This one right here is $80. There you go. That's I actually have this set. I bought it because the pieces are so good. Yeah. And it's got a great villain there with a the cool figure. And it's a decently sized set for $80. So that's $80. That's a one option. This one? That's probably more. Guess how much it is. Is it 100? 65. 65, that's it? Yes. I might buy that one. That's great. And we only got one left. Okay. Well, that's one for us. 65. Uh, oh, the, the Zane, Zane Mac? Yep. 
great uh, deal. I had that one. Oh, it was cheaper like a couple months ago mm -hmm. at Walmart. Though. Nice. Got to look out for those Walmart sales. Oh, Crystal King Temple, says Lima Bricks, exactly. And you said you were also looking for $80 Star Wars? That's correct. Then, Actually, you guys don't have the Ninjago movie mix, do you? Um, there's the Quake mech here, I think. There it is. Yeah. So we got that one, but we might be short on the other ones right now. They'd be up in here. Mm. So, yeah. Let me look at uh, some Star Wars options for $80 or less, and then we'll head over and look at Ninjago 2015 sets. See what we got here. So if he hasn't gotten Boba Fett's throne room, this is actually a good set. I really love the Gamorrean guard figure. He's super detailed. He also got Boba Fett and Fennec. And Bib Fortuna. Lots of great figures. Oh, that's 100 so that's a little bit over the $80 budget. Just out of range. Okay. Ooh. Another Mandalorian set. $60. Hmm. We don't have a lot of the medium-sized sets. We sold out on the Obi-Wan battle. That one's 60, I think. Most of these are going to be over $80 because they're old. This is how much? $100 again. A lot of Star Wars sets at that $100 price point. That would be another cool one. It's a lot of black, though, so a lot of black pieces. Yep, well, let's get to Ninjago 2015 and check them out. Have you gone through the top shelf yet? I just joined. Not yet, Daniel. We will uh, go look at that. So these are the ones from 2015, I'm guessing. 2013, so this is older. What is this year from? Hold on. 2012. What's 2015? Is this it? 2018. 2014. Almost there. What's this one say? I don't know if we have exactly that one over there. 2016. UFO, but we have some, I don't know if it's exactly that UFO. These are all older than 2015 or newer. The one I'm hanging on the land. Oh. Okay. Yeah. I wanted this like looking. I don't think we it's have it. 2015. No, it's newer. 2019. I don't know. We might not have any uh, 2015 sets. We have everything in between. Is this 2015 or is this newer? 2012. Hold on. Is this. Let's see. Twenty seventeen. We've got a lot of Ninjago, but not from twenty fifteen. Maybe it's the ghosty guys. Twenty fifteen, here we go. I finally found them. How do you tell the release date? So um Lemur Bricks, every Lego set has a copyright year on the bottom. You could tell what year it came out. Because they don't normally put that on the box cover too often, but underneath you can see. So there's the ghosty guys. We also have the Titan Mech battle from that same year. And we did have the City of Sticks, but I think it's sold. I think Grant might have got it. Grant is our big Ninjago fan here at the store. Oh, there's another one. The Chain Cycle Ambush, that's pretty cool. All those transparent neon pieces looking really cool. It's not cheap though, $89.99. Very cool. All right, what other requests do we have here? Top shelf. We can go look at top shelf. When the channel gets 10K, Mark does go gets an exo tattoo. Oh no, maybe a temporary one. Maybe a sticker. I'm building my Ninjago Gardens right now for Christmas. That's great, Josiah. Congratulations. I came to Atlanta Brickco a couple of months ago. Hope to come again soon. Live about an hour away. There you go, Colton. It's within driving range. That's good. 2015s are the ones with the ghosts. Exactly. Thanks, Sprig Virus. I should have read the comments. You guys could help me. 
I just got Rex's ATTE for Christmas. I was wondering if you knew if those minifigs share the same cracking issues that the minifigs from the Ghost set had. Uh, the, the Rex's ATTE? Uh, blah, 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 blah. Maybe? I don't think nearly as bad, though. I think you're a little bit safer, Jeffrey, but I'm not sure. Star Wars 2008 sets. We can check that out in a little bit here. Okay, okay, let's look at the top shelf one time for us really quick. Excuse me, guys. Mark, I'll get a matching next to Tetsi. Well, you would like that, Grumpy Jay, wouldn't you? I wouldn't like that. Oh, yeah, Friends. Yes, we'll check out Friends, too. So we got the Batmobile, Millennium Falcon, a couple of Technic vehicles. I love those big wheels. We got the city town plan set here. I don't think it's the one that, uh, was it Carrot Killer was asking about? Or was, yeah, this isn't the same one. 6464. Cafe Corner and Green Grocer are my white whales. There you go. We've got a Cafe Corner we can show you in a second. Sandcrawler. Got the Mighty Bowser and the Monkey Kid Flower Fruit Mountain up there. Dino Defense HQ, another very cool set. Also includes the son of uh, Johnny Thunder over there. No, not at all. <laughs> Nexo tattoo. Ooh. It's insert evil laugh. <laughs> Grumpy J trying to manipulate me into getting a next night tattoo. Can you believe it? Rebel Snow Speeder up there. TIE Fighter Collection. Rebel Blockade Runner. Got the ATST UCS. Y Wing Attack Starfighter UCS. Got the Pirates Imperial Fortress. I need the. Imperial Trading Port, I think. Santa Fe Super Chief, very rare. Bionicle Gadunka set. In front here, we have the monorail accessory set. Super, super rare. $400 for this little bundle right here. Tented for how much? That one is going to be 1800 so 1800 Where is Harry Potter? That's a good question, Deanna. We'll go check on that. Got the ATAT, -AT, one of the slightly older versions. Got the ATAT -AT from the oldest version. Very nice. Got the Imperial Star Destroyer. Got the Tumbler. Look at the teeth on that bonkle. Exactly. The teeth on Gadunka. Let me zoom on. on. He's one of my favorites. I wish I had him built. We ha used to have like three or four of them out in the case. And he was only like $60. And I should have bought him because now he's worth hundreds of dollars. So. But yeah, Millennium Falcon, the Jurassic Park gate, and of course, the sealed Cafe Corner looking very good right there. Cafe Corner is $3,000 for a new sealed with a mint box. So. Pocket change. Use your Christmas money. Exactly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Just as... A used car a few years ago. No big deal. How much is Gadunka? He's like, I think he's in a couple hundred for a sealed one. Let's see. 200 $200 for a sealed Gadunka. I know he's a lot more affordable built. So that's probably how I would try to acquire him. But yeah. Colton, they don't have Axel. Oh, I'm sorry, guys. Where's our next tonight figures? Where'd they go? There they are. Let's put all these in the trash real quick. Okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> all righty, all righty. We've got General Grievous. The Santa Fe. Yes, it's a, um, a train car from Union Pacific that was popular out in New Mexico. So. Oh, Cafe Corner sealed. Drool, drool. Yes, every day I get to look at that and think, wow, I wish I was rich. Yep. Same with Joe. Joe wishes he, he could afford all the stuff here. No. Where did he get the Cloud City Boba Fett hoodie? Oh, that's a good question, Alvar. You can get one, too, at atlbrick.com in our uh, clothing and merch section. We print those here at the store. They're pretty awesome. Oh, um, the Santa Fe, it's, it's pretty expensive, too. That is $680 for a sealed mint one. And this is actually kind of rare. Apparently it has a special number. It's more limited edition than some. So that adds a little bit of value too. Yeah. Corey Philbrook, one of our commenters here on the chat, could tell you more about it than I can. But. Oh, was Corey in the chat? Uh, no, not right now. 
Can I see Built Ninjago? We just checked that out a minute ago, Zan Lab, but we'll still try and circle back. Can if he? <laughs> oh dear. Let's see. Whatever by that cafe corner will have a big hole in their wall. Exactly, Colton. Exactly. All right. Got a couple more rare ones up here. You got the Lord of the Rings. A lot of Urukai armies. Attack of the Wargs. Attack on Weathertop. Battle of the Five Armies. Attack on Lake Town. A lot of attacks and battles happening. Got the Episode Three Collectors set. Got Diagon Alley, the Mill Village Raid featuring the Lego Goats. Got the Mersk line, Triple E. You got Time Cruisers, Insectoids, and Rock Raiders over there. And yes, we gotta go check out Friends next for Lemur Bricks. There you go. Scoop by here, excuse me. So here's some of our Friends sets that we have here. Attack on Mark, oh no. Lord of the Rings, yeah, go New Zealand. Yeah, that's where all the Lord of the Rings were filmed. Pretty awesome. I think the vast majority, anyway. I'm not 100% sure, but yes. So many cool sets and so little money. Oh, yes. It's difficult to work here and save any money. So. For the love of Brickmark, poor Lemur Bricks wants to see friends. Yes, we're looking at friends. We're here. I've been recommending people buy this set because it has some cool pieces and a cool horse. It's also new, so it's uh, only $40. Some of these friend sets can be very collectible once they get a little older. Can we see SWAT guys in vehicles? We can, AZ Dave. We'll circle back to that. What about the droid attack on the Wookiees? Nobody cares, Lemur Bricks. There's also some Disney Princess storybook sets that are cool here, too. The staff account would be high, exactly. Mark, have you restocked on Spudge Pick a Brick? Um, haven't really. Um, if it's just talking about regular Pick a Brick, yes, we have plenty of that right now. Not sure what the first word was. I think it uh, got lost in translation. Drama. Oh no, yes. Heart Lake City drama. Yeah, well, rip Wookiees, exactly. Sorry, Lever Bricks. <laughs> Nobody cares about the Wookiees. The droid attack on the Wookiees will be ignored. So, actually, the reason I didn't get a Heart Lake City drama video out last Friday was because, first of all, I wasn't here. Secondly, I'm probably going to be doing it more in person with the, the Heart Lake City characters. So I'm going to grab out Marcel, Emma, Andrea, Stephanie, Mia, all of our regular friends here. I think Ethan's here somewhere, too. There he is. We got several versions of Ethan. We're gonna, I'm gonna buy them all for myself, and then I'm gonna actually like act out the little stories. So it'll be even crazier than you than normal. So, so much fun. Yeah, there are some of the friend sets over there, some dots, and we're over at the elves section as well. <laughs> Plenty of elves characters. I haven't done elves drama yet. I don't think I'm gonna get into it. I think I should stick to Heart Lake City drama for a while. Oh no! Yeah, well, we'll see. We'll see, Morgan. Sometimes the Lego set like tells the story in itself, so we'll see. Can we say hi to Daniel? Uh, Daniel is out right now. It's just Joe, Stephen, John, and Caitlin, and, me. and Michael. Michael's helping too, and Braden was here too. I don't know if Braden's still here. Braden's gone. Okay. Yep. There's a couple of us hanging out. Yep. Oh, so yeah, Daniel's in the chat. He's saying hi. So. Hi, Daniel. Mm-hmm. Everyone, everyone likes Daniel. Bye, Daniel. No, hope bye, you find your bye. dad. Bye, Daniel. Hope you find your dad. <laughs> exactly. Uh, Actually, literally, he went to go visit his family, so he was trying to find his dad, probably. So. Well, not find him. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. he, well, he's like, if, if he's at home, I'll find him, right? You know, that, that's my logic. Home I don't alone. know. Home alone situation. Okay. Daniel is in home alone. That'd be so funny. All right. What were we looking for next? We had some requests. Um, Star Wars in 2008, which I don't know if I'm going to find that specifically, but we'll look. Mark, what's your favorite emoji? That's a good question. I think it's the pepperoni emoji because he looks so happy. But yeah, let's go look at... Um, 
Ninjago built sets, and then we'll look at 2008 Star Wars sets over in Star Wars. I don't know if I'll be able to find any, but we'll try. Have you got the ghost in stock? I don't think we do, Alvar. I think we're all out of ghosts. Sebastian's funeral. Oh, no. Yeah. <laughs> ABC City. Yeah, there you go, Colton. That's it. So you guys have sold the orange Porsche. That's right, Daniel. It's all gone. It was a pretty cool set, but it's not no longer with us. It found a good home somewhere else. Whole new cast of characters coming. That's right, AZ Dave. I can't wait to get my hands on the new friend sets and do some more drama. They're going to be talking about the old people who, who died. And they'll be talking about our friends. It'll be amazing. Let's see here. Oh, Mark, read my previous comment, please. There has been some kind of mis misunderstanding. Uh-oh. Let's see, Brick Fires, where are we? No, no, Mark, have you restocked on Sponge Pick a Brick? The little yellow squirted. Oh, uh, and a few Lego sets from 2003. SpongeBob. SpongeBob, yes. Might be in Greece, they call them Sponge. But sponge with the E at the end, SpongeBob. Yeah, um, I don't think we restocked it, but we will. Uh, I can check on that for you. We'll see what we have available. That was a continuation of the previous comment before Sebastian's funeral. There you go. <laughs> have Grant and Vogan made any new random Saturday videos? I don't think so, Colton. Which is tragic because they did such a good job with them. But I think uh, both uh, Vogan and Grant have been very busy. They haven't had a chance to work on them. But let's go look at Spongebob, then look for our Star Wars 2008 sets here. Let's see what they got in the Spongebob section. There's a couple Spongebobs. There we go. Not sure I should ask my question here, but here I go. Go ahead, Daniel. If it's not appropriate, Morgan will take it out. <laughs> There's some Patrick figures. They're pretty cool. So we have a few restocked, but not all of them. And Mr. Krabs with his money, that's funny. And I did a rhyme there, that was good. Do you have Lego Friends Santa? I don't know. We can check on that. Yeah, SpongeBob. I don't think we have any SpongeBob sets right now, which is sad because they're cool. SpongePap is called completely different in Greek. Isn't SpongePap the American version? No, it's SpongeBob. So just like a normal sponge that you'd use to clean, and then Bob, B-O-B. -B. So it's different in uh, Greek, I think, so. Yeah, I think it's just a different pronunciation of the same thing. It's the same characters, I believe. But yeah. Who has good handwriting or can type it out for me? Can we type in SpongeBob? I'll just do it real quick. SpongeBob for. That's right. So that's how we spell SpongeBob in the United States for you, Brick Ferris. So there he is. So it's a little different, but I think it's pretty much pronounced the same. In Greece, he's a sponge pap. So it's very different. So. so. But it's the same character, same show. I think it's probably just uh, dubbed. Either way, so, but yeah, so it's cool. <laughs> Always fun to learn these little fun facts. Uh, he's probably got other names in different countries, too, so. Can you use that on trivia? Yeah, we might, I'm going to use that in a trivia. That's pretty fun. Oh, wait, it's SpongeBob. I've been writing it wrong. Yep, that's that's how we write it in the United States there, Brick Virus. No worries. All right, what, what was I doing? Uh, Friends Santa Claus. Let's see. Don't see him here. There's Mrs. Claus. I don't see Santa Claus, though. So no Mrs. Uh, Mrs. Claus, no Santa Claus, so. Colton dropping all the emojis, I love it. All right, we've got 10 minutes left. We'll look around for some Star Wars sets from 2008 and see if we can find any. I'm not even sure if we have that many. This might be it. <gasps> Look at that! First try! This set is from 2008, which is a long time ago. It includes the Clone Wars style Anakin Skywalker. I remember they made a really big deal about these sets when they came out. 
They're all in the magazines and catalogs and lego.com back then. Yep, see, lego.com. Pretty cool. So that one's from 2008. Let's see if I can find more from that era. Mm. So this isn't 2008, I'm guessing. 2005, so a little bit earlier. There's two different box arts for that set. There you go. Or Lofa Robert. <laughs> exactly. If my Porsche has a broken seal but not built, is it worth less than a sealed box of tape intact? Not really that big a difference, Daniel. I'm, I'm pretty sure that doesn't make too big a change. But as long as the contents are sealed, that's the most important thing. Oldest set in the store. We used to have set number 001 gears pack. And that was super old. That's like 60s level. And so, but we don't have it anymore. So I'm not sure which one's the oldest now. We'd have to look it up. So. This is an older set as well, too. Let's see. Don't see any back there. So I think that's pretty much the only sealed set from 2008 that we have right now. Some newer ones up there. Droid packs. Either older or newer. 2008 is a super popular year. I wish, I don't think we have a single Jack Stone thing in the store. It, and I think one of the reasons is, is because it's so cheap. It's like 50 cents and it actually sells pretty quick because it's like the characters are like pennies versus dollars. And then the, the sets are really affordable too. So we just can't keep them in stock, which is good, but it's funny too. So, yeah. So one day we'll have a Jack Stone section, I bet. <laughs> yeah, not a lot of 2008 Star Wars sets. Any other requests? We still have a good nine minutes. Oh yeah, swap please. There we go, AZ Dave, thank you. And Greasy's called very differently than SpongeBob SquarePants. He has three names in Greek, but it's not SpongePap. Stupid me to write it wrong. No worries, Rick Ferris. I think that was where our misunderstanding came from. No big deal. Swap, please. Let's go look at it for AZ Dave. And these figures are pretty cool. If I was still building Lego cities, I would probably get some of these guys just for fun. Oh, Raymond's here. Hello from Amarillo, Texas. There you go. We had a plane. Yeah, if you watch our Tuesday video, you'll see that we no longer have any Jackstone planes. Even says, hey guys, how was your Christmas? I had a pretty busy Christmas, but I'm doing better now, so. Uh, I got the Lego Botanical Collection bonsai tree. My sister says there's another one, but I still hasn't arrived yet. There you go, more than one is good. Okay, thanks Mark. You and the rest of APC have a good day. Off to bed. Take care, Daniel, get some rest. Okay, gotta go. Hope everybody has a great day. Bye. See you, Colton. Yeah, we still got another seven minutes. We'll hang out for a little bit. There's the Black Operations gun truck. We used to have the SWAT truck, too, but I'm not seeing it now, so we might have to restock that soon. There's the MRAP, or M-A-M-R-A-P. Online, they're all out of stock. Oh, 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 that's not good. We might have to add more figures. We've got a couple FBI-style guys, SWAT snipers, Bomb diffusers, shield guys, SWAT riot. So yeah, um, AZ Dave, you can uh, call the store or you can send us a message and uh, get in touch with us and make sure we're able to get those for you. I am out to see you, you guys. There you go. There's Big Nate. Good to see you. Hey, hey, thanks for joining. Any Kingdoms Knights? We do have those, Tegan. I don't think they're online yet, but we do have a few of them. There's some right here, and I think the rest have been pulled because Daniel's working on them right now. So they're gonna be in the back room. There's the fantasy era knights up there. But the archers go for about $10, and the knights go for a little bit more than that, so. So those will be available for you soon, Tegan, hopefully. Nexo knights, all right, really quickly, before we're all done. So Raymond of Texas, how are you exactly? Is that a triplane in the corner? Hold on, did I miss something? We might have had one. Let's check on that for you, AZ Dave. Let's see. Triplane. Nothing. 
Excuse me, sorry. Oh, look at that. It's a tiny little triplane. $16.99 Brickmania kit. It might be instructions. Oh, great. Or signature weapon pack. So it's not the actual set. It's just the weapons for it. That's strange. Anyway, we have that, whatever that is. So. All right, next tonight's it is. I'm heading out. Bye. Take care, uh, Ivan. We'll see you. And there was a triplane in the corner, but it was just the weapons for it. I'm good, and it's starting to warm up today. That's good, Raymond. It's starting to warm up in Georgia, too. I think it's in the 40 degrees. That's very warm compared to what it has been. All righty. This is the, one of my least favorite sets ever. Because these pieces on the wings fall off immediately. And these little dot studs that shoot out are lost immediately. It doesn't really work that well. This is a horrible set. Don't buy it. Oh, that's an awesome set. Buy horrible, it. horrible set. <laughs> Beastmasters Chaos Terror. This is actually kind of cool. I like this one. I can get behind this. It has a cool book. It has these big chomper guys in the front. It has this cool guy with the chains. Catapult on the back. This is nice. It is in the upper 60s today. That sounds pretty nice, Raymond. This is a horrible set. Don't buy it. Yes, I'm, don't buy that one. If you're going to buy a Nexonite set, get a different one. Those are terrible. These is pretty, this is a pretty cool set. I actually bought this one and destroyed it. Um, it is Jestro's Evil Mobile, the big giant troll guy in the front. is cool. He's like a flaming guy with wings. This is a cool sculpt in the front with the mouth. It's pretty menacing. Got the original Jestro. That's a good set. Up here you have... Jestro's evil lair, the volcano lair, very scary looking. Is Jestro in the set? Yeah, he's way up at the top. And it includes a lot of weird, rare pieces, lots of flames, lots of little bad guys. This would be great for like a D&D &D style build. Another good set from Next Nights, I hate to admit it. Has a cool flame guy, has a big jaw that opens up. It's Chris Dodson. Hey, Mark, is the pick-a-brick table full coming there soon? Um, it should be pretty full. It's, it's not, f like, packed full, but it's pretty well stocked. We can dump more on there pretty soon, I think, too. 153 Nixon I figs. I'm almost there. Oh, my gosh, Grumpy J. That's awesome. And then um, we talked about the Volcano Lair. That's actually a pretty good set. This is garbage, okay? Everyone's like, oh, it's the mobile castle. It's stupid. It's, don't buy it. It's terrible. The characters are dumb. It doesn't really roll. It just kind of sits there. It's hard to roll around. It has one bad guy, two bad guys, and they're like, oh yeah, we're gonna fight the bad guy. No, you should wipe them out with the artillery on top. It's stupid. Don't get me started on this one either. This is a really dumb set. This is nightmare fuel looking bad design. The, the warriors are kind of cool. That guy with the wings is pretty cool. These are our right. Is this kind of, that's kind of dumb. <laughs> Slams door and screams. <laughs> okay, cloud guy is pretty cool. And the electric gesture is kind of neat. But that's about all. I mean, that's pretty dumb. Then all these little sets are not that great. I mean, this is this is just why. Why would you even... I mean, Dennis is in there. That's about it. Hey, Mark. It's how you say it till the end. Oh, Mark, I can't believe you were looking at Nexus. I know, right? I don't know why I'm here either. This is, I listened to Lemur Bricks and here I am. Bashing on Nexus nights. Grumpy, are you, com are you com completing all the Nexo figs? That would be a pretty cool accomplishment, actually. This is dumb. Enough said. A failed theme. Exactly, Tegan. You, you understand me. This is okay. At least it has a cool color scheme. But it's pretty dumb. This is actually one of those okay sets. This is cool. Potter would be better. Yeah, Harry Potter is a pretty solid theme. I don't think we have time to see it today. We only have one more minute left. But we'll check it out next time, hopefully, Diana. So, Moltor's Lava Smasher. This one's pretty cool. What's this over here? Dumb, dumb, dumb. All right. Do I even need to describe why this is dumb? It's a giant crossbow, and it would never fly, and it's stupid. Yeah. So, another stu mostly stupid, Nick tonight says. Some of them are cool. Some of them are pretty dumb. So, uh, most of them are pretty dumb, I should say, actually. And we don't even have the figures stocked right now. 
Angie was working on them, but she got distracted, so we aren't, we, they're not even nearly finished. Nobody really has complained, though, because nobody's trying to buy them, so. Anyway, my son had a bike that turned into a plane. That's kind of cool. Goodbye, Nexo people. Yep, we're at 60 minutes, so it's time to head out. Angie isn't in today. Uh, quite a few of our employees are not in today. Daniel's out. Chris is out. Uh, Ed hasn't been in a while, but they'll be back soon, hopefully. And uh, thank you guys so much. We'll see you next time. Don't forget to join us on our other live streams. We have a bunch coming out all throughout the week. So stay tuned. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Peace!